Number eight, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And then what is the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to find both the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of a single ion, H2PO4 minus. Now, when in fact you can find both the conjugate acid and a conjugate base from a single ion, that means that in some situations, this can act as an acid, and in other situations, it could act as a base. I know that H2PO4 minus can act as an acid because anytime that you see hydrogens in the front of an ion or a molecule, that's an acid. Vers you know, versus, I see a negative in the back, right, behind. If you see negative charges in the behind, chances are it's going to be able to act as a base. So this one's got both of them. It's got the hydrogen in the front and the negative in the back. So it's got both acidic and basic properties. All we got to do is just find out those conjugates. So let's split this down the middle. And now we're going to be looking down here to find out our conjugate base and our conjugate acid. Let's pretend that H2PO4 minus was acting as an acid. So in this case, we're going to find the conjugate base. Now remember, a base is always one less hydrogen than its acid. So all you got to do is just drop one hydrogen. Well, originally there were two hydrogen. So if I want to find out that conjugate base, I just got to drop one of the hydrogens. So in this case, it would just be H. And then every other element comes with it, PO4. Now we just have to correct for the charges. When you're forming a base, you're always going to be subtracting one from the original charge. In this case, H2PO4 was a negative one, right? That's what the charge was in the upper right-hand corner. So when I come over here, I say, okay, it was a negative one. And since I removed a hydrogen, I'm going to subtract one. Negative one minus one is a negative two. And that is your conjugate base. So this part is done. I'm just going to put con base for short. Now we just have to do the same thing, but let's just pretend that H2PO4 was acting as a base. So H2PO4 minus, now we just have to find the conjugate acid. Well, on the flip side, an acid is always one more hydrogen than its base. So you got to gain one. So just add a hydrogen here. There were two, but now there's going to be three. All the other elements come along for the ride. So H3PO4, but now you just have to take note of the charge. If you're adding a hydrogen, you're going to plus one to the overall charge. There was a negative one, right? So when I come over here, I say, okay, it was a negative one, but I got to add one. Negative one plus one is zero. So I don't have to write anything there. And H3PO4, phosphoric acid, that is your conjugate acid. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and check, check the channel out. We have physics videos and math videos on the channel at the moment with much more to come in the future. We have really big dreams for the channel, more subjects coming. So we'd love to learn. Hope you guys do too. And let's, let's keep rocking and rolling. All right. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.